Um, well, I'm making both two and three dimensional work, and it's not really about pigeonholing the work, but about opening it up and, you know, asking a whole lot of questions about what a painting might be. I think they're both. They're sculptural paintings to me. I think to, to a more, um, you know, traditional viewer, they are sculpture. And I wanted to put my work in that context very deliberately because I was really unsatisfied with the dialogue that went along with abstract painting. I mean, I do abstract painting, but I've taken it like in my own sort of direction. I respect the tradition of painting that I'm working in. I respect all those Hudson River landscape painters. But I also come from the Hudson River Valley and feel like, well, I don't have to make those kinds of paintings. You know, my, my work is more about just totally sub sublime aspects of the landscape. But it is always about the landscape for me. But to me, they are paintings because that's the vocabulary that I have in my head. I'm thinking about things like color relationships primarily. And I talk about, you know, the way that I make these, the process for making them is almost making, taking a walk in the woods. I, I set off and I know what my intention is, but I'm not really sure what's going to happen along the way. And um, because I'm working within molds that I create and I build these molds sort of as the piece grows, um, yeah, it really just becomes about putting one foot in front of the other and trusting that inevitably I'll get to some place that, that's exciting or surprising to me. I want to surprise myself. It's always a what-if kind of question for me. It's about curiosity. That This is what I love about the concept of the Scholar's Rocks because they were these, um, they, they were sort of aids for intellectual inquiry. They weren't really about um, proving anything, they were more about inspiring the mind.